Hi everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna to take a look at the GoPro and why I think it's an amazing option for a webcam. We'll quickly run over what you need to link your GoPro up to the computer to use it as a webcam. I've done a video on this recently. I'll link it up above so you can go and check that out too. It shows you exactly how to link your GoPro, what you need to do to get it to the computer to use it in programs like OBS for live streaming. If you haven't watched that video, the first thing you need to do is to connect the GoPro to the computer via a micro HDMI cable. You need to have some kind of capture card like an Elgato Camlink or a HD60S, something along those lines from Elgato. Elgato is a company that I'd recommend to use for capture cards because they just work. They're simple, you plug and play more or less. You have to make sure the GoPro HDMI output settings is set to live, um, but I think by default it's set on monitor so you can connect it to an external monitor. So just reset those settings in the GoPro preferences to live and you just basically connect it to the computer. I'll show you in OBS what the camera looks like and how to set up the GoPro in OBS as a webcam. Okay, so we're in OBS, and as you can see from my webcam, this is the Logitech 920, and it's about as good as you'll get with a webcam, and that's why I would never recommend a webcam for live streaming or for Zoom conference calls. It just looks terrible. It paints you in not a very flattering light, so we're gonna switch and we're gonna set up a scene for the GoPro. This is OBS, it's free software for live streaming. All you have to do is download it from the website and you can use it for free and it's a very capable live streaming software. So I'd fully recommend downloading OBS if you're using a PC. There are other streaming software um, sites out there and other things you can use, but I like using OBS or Streamlabs OBS for Twitch streaming. We're gonna come down to scenes and we're gonna add a new scene by pressing this plus button on the left hand side. We're gonna call this GoPro. Then over on the sources, within the scene you add sources. Now I wanna add the GoPro video as a source. So we press a little plus button under sources and we add video capture device. And then we're gonna create new video capture device. We'll call it GoPro webcam and this screen will pop up. And on this drop down menu here, you'll have all the different options of cameras you've got plugged in. At the moment, I've got the webcam plugged in, I've got the HD60, which is recording the GoPro, and the cam link, which can re record this big camera as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, press the HD60, and hopefully the GoPro image pop up, and it will, there we go. There's other options you can play with, but I'm just gonna leave it all as standard. Press OK, and this is the GoPro setting. This is what it looks like. Um, what you do is lock that so you can't move it about, and that basically that is what I'm saying. The GoPro is a very, very good looking camera compared to the webcam, which is not so good, and this is the GoPro, very good. There's a few key features that make the GoPro stand out as a webcam option. It's got an unlimited runtime, so there's no limit to the camera running. It's not gonna switch off after 30 minutes. It's totally unlimited. And most importantly, it's got an absolutely clean HDMI output. Some cameras, like this big camera I'm using, take the HDMI signal from the LCD screen, not the actual camera sensor itself. And you get all the information around the outside that you can take off, but it's just another step that you have to worry about. So with the GoPro, it's a perfectly clean HDMI output that takes the signal from the camera and gives you that clean looking image on your OBS software. So that is a, another fantastic thing with the GoPro. The third key point is that with most cameras that don't have a HDMI output, you have to turn the, the lens or the camera lens into manual mode uh, and then focus manually. With the GoPro, like I said, it's got that perfectly in focus, plane of sight. It's not a shallow depth of field, so it's all in focus and you don't have to manual focus any lens or anything like that. So it, it, it focuses on everything so you can move around your scene and you will be in focus the whole time on your live stream. If you're using Elgato products, you, all you have to do is go onto their website and check the specific camera that you're using. It'll tell you all the information, whether it's a clean HDMI, whether it's got unlimited runtime. And if you look, uh, we're on the um, Elgato website here 
uh, supported cameras, you click on GoPro and we can see that from the GoPro Hero 7 Plus Silver all the way down to the GoPro 8, Hero 8 at the moment, which is a current one out, all of these cameras support this clean HDMI, 1080p, clean HDMI, yes, unlimited runtime, yes, micro HDMI adapter, and you can power it by the USB. While we're talking about power, the one thing you have to do as well is make sure the GoPro is powered. We all know the GoPro batteries aren't the best. All I do is get a power bank and plug the power bank into the GoPro to make sure it's got constant power all the way through. You'll be set for hours and hours of live streaming and Zoom calls. So that is the one caveat to it. You make sure that you've got an external power source plugged into it so it doesn't turn off. Apart from that, as we can see, the GoPro is an extremely capable live streaming camera and I fully, fully recommend it. I'm going to be using it for a long time to come when it comes to doing live streams, gaming videos and stuff like that. So I hope this helped. I hope there's a lot of information in this video. So thank you very much for listening. If you haven't already, do make sure that you subscribe down below, press a bell so you do not miss any videos coming up soon. Lots of stuff coming up. So join the community, join the fun. Uh, until next time, take it easy. See you soon, guys. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.